and welcome back everyone to the next part of uh, that graveyard pe uh, creeper uh, playthrough so last week we had our falcon salmon not perfect uh, not great either but that's what we, uh, we have to work with and now next up i want to uh, focus on that uh, soul room improving it actually in looking all part of it and then before the end of the week i want to make our first uh, new prayer which will be the prayer for healing that is just increase the number of sin shards we get every time we heal a soul should be possible um, if there is more time i also want to uh, go to the quarry collect some material and possibly make some firewood to upgrade uh, the miller and um, the farmer so we can buy uh, the seed we need for uh, the next step after that which will be to uh, progress on the inquisitor quest line Actually, the first biggest priority is to process the free cops we have sitting in our mall. Because I need to send them on their way. I need nothing else from that one. Because if I can make some space and then Donkey will deliver one more cops today. And these five cops in this week. We should have enough soul gratitude to unlock. First few tech inside the better safe source uh, DLC, which my goal is to try to see if I can before the end of the week actually unlock the next uh, part because you basically you need soul gratitude to uh, unlock the tech, and with the tech you can make more parts inside the souling machine, and with each part you get more sin shard when you will soul in it. skin down Uh, 
finally that part is repaired so that i wasn't able to do it uh, last week if i didn't mess up and put the skin in the wrong chest uh, it wouldn't have happened but uh, that's what happened so we go with that That step done for the week. No. And perfectly on time. Our fourth welcome guest in our new soul room. Then we would have to do that anyway. Only one anyway. And that's nine fortitude. Exactly one shot. Perfect. So the next step I said I wanted to do was to work toward making a summon before the end of the week. And this will actually require probably to have a lot more blue points we currently have. Because we have the story necessary. But we need some uh, writing perk or a lot of reloading, which I don't want to uh, be doing.
very good start. And what is disgusting? You can eat maggot. Let's take any 20 found for the Inquisitor. Let's uh, have them with me. And so that step is mostly done. Only need to wait for the next corpse so that I can have a look. Um, I have more soul gratitude because that's what I need to unlock the deck. I have all the other points I need. So let's get on the other part, which was to go and harvest some material from the quarry and progress on the Inquisitor quest line. That one's fine, so for the quarry. that will give me a red point which I'm quite starving. I could study a few more because I have a few more, s a few spare uh, face points that I don't actually need but that's at least for now that's too far from any of the next decks that I want to unlock. And here, good form I got down the throat, that's not much energy, but at least it's clear of my space in my inventory, and it does sell something. so I can eat myself first. Carrot to cook. Verify that I have everything I need and go to the quarry. I actually need my second pickaxe, which I do actually have, so that's all good.
I don't want to mine too much stone for now, but I know I will need some stone to um, complete specifically. Oh, and that's right. I need to get back. Don't say that corpse, I'll just put down all of the material that I have on me. Here, and back. I don't want to wedge because I don't want them to fill my inventory. Like I said, one of the interesting part about that run compared to what I normally do in Gravel Keeper is that I need to actually be home quite often because every time a corpse arrives, the longer I let it um, wait, the more damage the soul is, and the more damage the soul is, the less um, both sin shard and uh, soul gratitude will get. Second one. Let's take the M because that definitely is something I'm really going to forget otherwise. So just four that I needed. Yes, I don't need. Uh, let's get back to the quarry. Because I do still need my stone. So, like I was saying, the stone is used for alchemy. The alchemy specifically likes the distillation cube. Both cost uh, a lot of stone, which I won't have enough uh, from between what I have in my storage and the few stone around my house. So, I might quickly uh, mine some stone here. In terms of iron, I have more than enough for uh, what I need for now. Well, not just I do get some of the stone I need, I actually also get some uh, of the red point and green point I will need. So why it doesn't look like much because each of the tech from uh, the better safe soul is only like between 20 to uh, 50 red. That's still a lot that I normally would be spending on getting alchemy. Basically, by getting alchemy, it's not like the tech for alchemy, but the tech to make the things for alchemy. Like, we need some uh, better glass, which costs another 50. Um, we need some um, polished stone, which costs another 150 red. And then for alchemy, too, we do need like the steel cups, which costs another 200, and uh, the jointing, which costs another 200. It's like close to 800 red points that uh, we need. And it raised slowly. That's the only thing I will say. diet but a simple one and one more day before the inquisitor mm. 
Daytime, so snake should be here, so I can directly go. Uh, yeah, to the best of this day, yeah. that I hope snake will be gone so we can make the gold story make the prayer everything I need in the soul room for now. I believe the only thing I uh, will also need to uh, improve is like the soul extractor which has a, a third level but I do remember that the third level costs something that uh, I won't be able to make very soon. I don't remember exactly what it is but I do remember it's something that I can't make now. So 90% let's see and it worked. I've played enough XCOM to know that 90% is like something you will miss out of the time. But not today. Okay, it's not, I will leave here. So. Okay, don't worry about that. And another 80 percent actually so let's drop another save don't want to be playing that part too much grab the four face on the way make a prayer and hopefully we have an 80 percent chance uh, it should be alright I also don't remember exactly what is the church threshold that is needed for the prayer to be a success because of course it's a little bit if it's like 50 or 60 that may be an issue because I think my church is like at 49 and there is no point in having a prayer for a very good buff and specifically a long one with a gold prayer if it's going to fail because if it fails you don't get the buff So I hope it's something not too big. And it really doesn't want to... Uh, like I said, I've played enough XCOM to know that an 80% chance or a 90% chance to, uh, to it is closer to a 50% chance every time you need it. <laughs> And if 
have to reload one more and even edit all of that part out so you don't have to sit through uh, to me watching me load walk and do the exact same action again and again and again It's a skin that they don't have. directly uh, in the correct area I can go straight down that we have a summon to do and can I see how much success 30 that's really low and perfect I guess I can put here um, I don't have any spare skin I can put that here so that's wonderful I have done I wanted. I need six more uh, bags to put in the soup room. And like I said, so the next step that was my goal for the week. It's already achieved. So for once, I'm uh, I did what I wanted to do. The next part will be to prepare some resources so I can upgrade the tier of both the farmer and the miller. And for both of them, easiest way I have right now uh, is to simply make a lot of resources that I can sell them. And the more I can, once I sell enough of it, uh, it will actually improve their uh, shop to the next year. one I can make in large quantity is quite simple, that's firewood. Not going to be very profitable, not going to make a lot of money out of it. But that's not the goal. It's not for me to make money out of the deal, it's for them to be richer from the process. Thousand 
firewood. To make sixty seven would be that. And you know what? While I'm at it, I will need to make more because I also need some to uh, burn the corpse because there is none of the corpse that I have right now that I want to uh, bury it again so far from having the ability to make a perfect corpse and improving the graveyard doesn't matter because we have already like it's just already upgraded and to get it to 200 uh, to have a catarol is not something for right now um, think of it later but because I don't need it for the sin shard on the advantage of having a catarol would be a little bit more face which of course is always useful specifically as I'm right now I'm just starving of a uh, right punch which I could get from um, studying with face it's probably not as important as working on having something to do once I have alchemy because having alchemy is fine if I don't have anything to do with it it doesn't serve me I pollute my inventory with thousands of firewood. I want to go and meet the Inquisitor. And while going there, I'll just quickly explain something that is that what type of corpse arrive and specifically how much skull the corpse itself has, and of course, how much skull the, each of the three organ inside has, is determined from at least basically there is a list of depending on when you are in the game, like. 20 to uh, 30 corps that uh, the donkey can deliver and of course some of them have something that we want and most of them actually don't and when you change so the first one is quite normally easy to notice as soon as you open the church first the donkey has this strike where he asks you to you now give him carrot and thing like that but you also notice that the corps go from having like one red and two white uh, to being more complex skulls that we'll have like between two to uh, three or four red to between like two to four uh, white skull and it's also of course I kill what the game inside those files called tier one which are relatively still basic corpse the tier two is triggered by what I've done just here so when you uh, complete the quest from the inquisitor of uh, bringing in firewood and flyers it trigger tier 2 to start showing up so corpse from tier 1 will still show up so we'll still get some of those relatively low skull uh, corpse but we do start also to get um, corpse from uh, tier 2 and specifically inside tier 2 there is one corpse that has a total of 3 red and 5 white and that's the first possible corpse that you can have that has both a dark organ which of course you can't see yet but it's still a dark organ inside it and it also has an organ with um, minus two red and three white more importantly like that. that's a three white skull uh, organ and that's what we'll um, we need and what i may even be doing oh, yes. and you can also see it because when you walk into the mall you have the dialogue with gary uh, of course the dialogue is not necessary, like, even if I waited for the corpse to uh, arrive, that corpse that arrived could be a corpse from a uh, tier 2 from now, even if I didn't make the dialogue before. So that's everything. So basically that's why I actually went to the Inquisitor, not just for the one story he gave, which I won't use for now. It's because now any of the corpse that the donkey um, will provide, uh, basically 50% chance to get like a better corpse and about a 10% chance to get a really nice corpse So from now on, we have already some um, better cards that will start to show up. And the next year is, of course, like once you progress further into the Inquisitor quest line, you have to provide new wines and you start to make some buffet. And after uh, free witch burning with buffet, uh, the week after the third uh, witch burning with buffet, 
he comes back and tell you that uh, the burning have been for forbidden by the king and he give you the tech for the dark hall and that's when um, you are in the last stage of the game where it deactivates all of the tier one corps from uh, being delivered so you stop receiving those relatively low uh, skull corps and almost all of the corps you can receive are relatively good and specifically like it has a lot of corps that have dark organ and organ with free white skull which raise the chance that you will have a, a corpse with um, an organ with free white skull to something like 36 percent that's what the goal is to be at that stage as soon as we can well like now the oh and that's actually a big mistake that i did because i i thought i needed 30 that's for the last thing this one i don't need for now because i can't make it and that was actually a mistake that i probably shouldn't have made my bad. I was sure that I needed 30 gratitude for the next step. Well, too bad. Next one that come will actually be one that uh, we receive, we'll start to receive a proper treatment. Not exactly finished in terms of what we can, uh, how much we can heal a soul, but we are more than halfway. And of course my morgue is full, I should actually have built more pallets so I could still process the corpse themselves once a week. well and I actually won't need that much uh, so I think that once those corpse are done I'll probably start to burn the corpse inside the SO room in the crematorium that you can make that's why I will need some ash
that's enough to make like almost 20 uh, gold star fertilizer. Hopefully I remember that I put it here. Wait, chance are probably too low <laughs> for me to actually remove what I'm supposed to, uh, to do. Because that's the only big downside of uh, making a lot of firewood to um, sell to the farmer and the miller is it takes a lot of inventory space. up like most other NPCs so quite uh, oh. early in the morning and he has to go uh, back to bed uh, at dusk but the farmer got the way early so exactly how many do I have now so as much as I can. I quickly remove and do the soon. And I assume the mirror will be gone. But
let's do the farmer first because he should still be here. Maybe not even. This may just be a waste of my time. Is he here? Maybe he sleep as little as I do. So to him, I need to sell that. Actually, be good to see tomorrow if my notes are correct. Don't know how much firewood and uh, things you need to buy from him to upgrade it because I'm not doing it at the exact same timing and I've also not exactly bought the same as uh, as what I did in my speedrun, which is what my notes are based on. And I also want to plant some. The rest I don't care for now. I need wheat to make beer. And so I need to put some carrot for the donkey. So try to do the salmon sort of as late as possible because the buff has a duration in minutes and it's only useful when you will a soul which we won't be doing until uh, the next day so having the buff like I could right now go to the church and uh, make a salmon almost right now but that would be a few minutes of salmon that wouldn't benefit me because I have no corpse to, um, to it. Uh, I also put down all of the burn certificates somewhere. I want to sell them, it's not much money, but. One of the downside of opening the church on day one is that you actually miss a dialogue that normally happen with uh, Oradric. And it's not just a dialogue that uh, tells you some information, it's a dialogue that also has an effect not specifically to us, the character, but to Oradric himself. He gained a lot of money and that opens the tier, so that's why in your normal game it probably has tier to open, whereas for me it doesn't have it. That's why you can. I can't buy some uh, silver wine, or at least not soon. Now let's get Caesar Miller. Sell the rest of the wood to him and throw some money his way by being extremely bad at. Bartering. So that's a friend raid. And then what we want to do is to 
buy fifty and then buy the other fifty and trade it back and that actually cost us money. It might look like we are just wasting our money. That's not the case. We are not wasting it, we are giving it to him. And with that that should be enough to uh Upgrading to both tier 2 and tier 3. And want that because I want to be able to buy some of seed. And of course the farmer is... I'm a late guy and... I do in the few minutes I have left so that I want to take because I want to drop that in the alchemy That's the thing I need to think about is instead of going through all the way for alchemy, I could just spend some of my sin shard. Which in the long run might actually be easier. And well it's sort of a waste because sin shards are quite more rare than the matter you need to make um, fertilizer. But it's not too bad of a trade for right now. And we had absolutely no confession. That's why I <laughs> don't want to rely on that. So here, 30, our first prayer of healing. Won't give us that much face. A little bit more, like 25% more of a base face and a, it's a basic prayer and one more extra face. So it's a little bit more, not as much as like if I had a face, uh, I could face someone like I normally do, I would get like about, I think, 10 more face from each of those salmon. as well no because I have a gold salmon it lasts a very long time which also means that it's even possible to do some other salmon from time to time so like here for next week I can either do the same and just uh, make the buff last longer or I could if I need something else like a salmon uh, of uh, quality or one of inspiration to uh, do some writing I can actually do them like once every two weeks, you can do another summon that is not a prayer for healing. And with that, that's the end of uh, another week. I think that from now on, I'll try for every episode to be a full uh, week. Um, with very little cutscene, should be uh, alright. And before I leave, I'll just go and check on the farmer. Because if he's not upgraded, that means I need to check my mass and see exactly how much I need to sell him.
active enough. Perfect. So I will do one last thing before I uh, teleport home. That is that when you have uh, a bronze onion, and that's very important that it's a bronze onion, not where it came from. Doesn't matter, but it needs to be a bronze, a bronze quality uh, onion. And you walk into the tavern. Already has a new dialogue, and it Bolo gives you Tolo. the receipt for Bolo onion. Bolo Bolo. Like the two receipts that exist with onion. And one I find quite useful because I need to make onion anyway. And one of it is very useful to make the merchant dinner. So that's it for uh, today. Uh, see you guys in the next part, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video.